Hello guys, good evening, good evening sa inyo, Truly Rich Club. So let's wait for viewers, are we live? Yun, are we live? Yan, yan. So, can you comment down sections? Can you comment section? <laughs> sa comment section. <laughs> if you are live, yan. Yun, may data ba pa? <laughs> so, can you comment down? So, ako lang mag-isa ngayon. Wala si Brother Marco and si Sheila kasi nasa uh, butuan sila ngayon doing True Village Club missions. No? So, may seminars kami doon. So, kung nasa ano pala kayo, Nasa Mindanao, Butuan, Sambuanga, CDO, Truly Rich Club with Brother Bo. Nandiyan po sila this coming days. No? So check our event page. no Check our page here sa Truly Rich Club. Yung mga schedule namin. Uh, again, sila Marco, sila Sila with Brother Bo. Uh, pupunta sila dyan sa CDO, Butuan, and Sambuanga. So make sure nandiyan kayo. Punta kayo dyan. Comment naman kayo dyan. Hi, from Butuan. Nanonood sila. Ayan sila, Miss Priscilla. From... Hi, hi. Kayo lang yata nanonood, Deo. Konti na nanonood sa atin. Konti lang, no? Wala kasi si Sheila at si Marco, eh. Konti na nanonood sa atin. So, ang topic natin ngayon is uh, three strategies to eliminate debt. So, it's gonna be quick. Uh... Quick lang, no? So, yan. Yan. Banners. Great banners. Yan. So, yan, no? Three strategies to eliminate debt. So, yan yung topic natin ngayon. So, again, kung nasa naman kayo, na, <laughs> kung nasa naman kayo ngayon, please do comment down para mabati namin kayo. So, ayan, si Atty. Tina na itong butuan. Ayan, sila iyan. Kayo-kayo rin nandyan eh. Nanonood. <laughs> Sumali na kaya kayo, bro. Ito, bigay ko sa inyo yung invite. <laughs> Sali na kayo. Sali na kayo. Ayan. Ayan ko na sa group chat, no? So, para makasali si Brother Marco tsaka si uh, uh, Miss Sheila, no? So, hi nga pala, Miss April, no? From Butuan. So, two little chicken with their attorney Tina, pa shout out daw. Ayan. Tsaka yung mayama kong kaibigan, no? Bilinaryo kong kaibigan, na si Marco. So, kamusta pala? Ano to UB po? Sabi ni, ano? Ayan, tinan mo naman sa picture, oh. Di ba? Hindi ba baba ng 1 billion network yan eh. So, yan. Dito mo naman yung mga picture. Hi, Joms. So, si Miss Priscilla, no? From Rumber. Ayan, no? Ayan, no pa? From Chago. Ayan. Sa Chago City. Ayan. Si Miss May Loves. Okay, so, as we go along with our discussion, uh, if you have questions, uh, type me lang yan sa comments section. And of course, hasagutin natin yan mamaya. So, anything about that? So, and uh, just a quick fax lang, no? Um, when we started no, teaching financial literacy, marami kaming, yun nga, uh, nag-putap ka ng survey sa mga followers natin, sa mga, uh, sa mga email subscribers natin. And yun nga, nagulat kami kasi sabi namin, general question lang, ano yung gusto nilang maging, uh, kumbaga, ano yung gusto nilang matutunan, ano yung, ano yung aspeto sa financial life nila na kaya gusto nilang, uh, yun yung masod ba, uh, magkaroon ng, kumbaga, maungusan nila, no? So, and nag-shock kami kasi kakala namin it's about investments, no? about, it's about savings, and pag, pagbasa namin ng mga replace nila, it's all about debts, no? Utang. So, Nakalungkot, but uh, majority of us, including me, no? Ako naman, sinasabi ko naman na talagang may, may utang din naman tayo, no? But uh, ang maganda rin kasi nun, uh, aside from eliminating, kung hindi sila ma-eliminate, no? we, we should manage them properly. No? So, yun yung magiging topic natin ngayong gabi. Again, if you have any questions, 
just type down sa section, no? Diyan sa comment section para paano natin ma masagot natin mamaya. Okay? So, again, okay. So, three strategies to eliminate that. So, so in debt management, no? So, uh, the most powerful wealth building tool is your income, no? To build your wealth, you have to control your income. So, the bottom line for becoming wealthy is... Of course, increase your income, increase your cash flow. Sinasabi nga natin, cash flow is king, no? So, you have to increase your uh, income as much as possible. And paano mo ma-increase yun? Again, the common concept na laging dinidiscuss natin is uh, lower down your expenses, lower down your payments. No? So, if you have debt, no? So, kaya natin sinasabi yung anong connection ng income sa debt mo, no? So, if you have less debt, kung wala kang debt, no? wala kang amortizations, wala kang payments na ginagawa, and you will have more income. Why? Pag marami ka ng income, of course, you have that so much excess, you can invest in your businesses, you can invest in stocks or in other assets that could grow, no? Your wealth, no? So, ganun yung relation niya with income and debt, no? So, again, if you have less debt, means, no? Follows na, it follows na, you have less payments, less amortizations, and uh, automatically, di ba, delete or lalagay yung excess mo pala. No? Which means marami ka pang uh, cash flow which you could build your wealth through, again, through uh, creating businesses, uh, investing in the stock market, mutual funds, and other uh, generating assets na that could grow your wealth. No? So, that again, that's debt management. So, debt, which simply means, no, simply put, let's uh, put it simply, no, that is the enemy of your income. So, if you have more debt, kahit gano'ng palaki yung income mo. So, alam natin yan, experience ko din yan, ang laki-laki ng income mo. No? So, parang kami, sa e-commerce, usually, we, we do that. Ang laki ng sales namin, ang laki ng income namin, pero ang laki ng utang namin yung Facebook kasi we run mostly ads sa Facebook. No? So, sabi nga namin, no? si Facebook lang yung mayaman. No? But definitely, ganun talaga. So, kahit ang laki ng sales mo, ang laki ng income mo, Tapos, ang dami mo pala amortizations, no? ang laki ng binabayaran mo sa kotse mo. Usually, ang kotse ngayon, no? maabot ng di ba, 10,000 to 40,000, depende sa kotse na bibilin mo. No? So, of course, yung iba, nag-rent pa uh, sa bahay. Yung mga, yung, ba, yung mga zero interest na cellphones. So, lahat yan eh. Lahat yan amortization. Lahat yan uh, debts. Nakakalungkot, no? Uh, Minsan nga, I have office mates before na minsan uh, 2,000 na lang yung, yung net pay nila. It's because ang dami ng utang. Lahat yata ng utang kinuha nila from pag-ibig. Ewan ko kung mga tag nila, sa SSS ba, GSIS, ang dami nilang kinukuha ang loans. Which, kala nila kasi it's a benefit. Eh. No, it's not a benefit. Especially pag may mga calamity loans nga, di ba? Nag-open bigla yung SSS ba o feel it. I forgot, no, GSIS. May mga calamity loans bigla na SSS. Yun, SSS. No? So, kala nila benefit na gunaan doon sa window to avail that. But, babayaro mo yun eh. It, diba? So, yun yung nakaka- nakakalungkot lang din. That's the mindset of Filipinos. And that's why kami, nung naalala ko nun doon sa former office ko, nag- nagkaroon sila ng minimum net pay. No? Kung kumbaga, uh, pag ganito na lang net pay mo, hindi na pwede kasi hindi ka na mabubuha. Hindi ka na pwede mag-loan kasi Sobra pa nga, wala ka ng net pay, di ba? Negative net pay, hindi pwede yun. So, tinitingnan din ng HR na accounting yan kung gano'ng kalit na yung net pay mo. So, nakalungkot, but again, uh, hopefully, misa kasi talaga, hindi mo may iwasang uh, umutang, no? So, may mga emergencies, may mga kailangang bayaran. But, uh, again, increase your income. Yung last week, last week topic natin ngayon, last week topic natin is Last, last week pala, no? It's about creating income streams, no? Uh, as much as possible, if you're working 8 to 5, but you're doing 6 to 10, 6 to 12 a.m., so, which I did, no? Which is kayang-kaya. And kasi nung nagkatrabaho noon, after office, ang diretso ako sa Makati, kung ano nung ginagawa ko, kung ano nung businesses yung uh, pinapasok ko, for me to increase my income, no? So, as much as possible. So, Irvin Lindae, no, pa-shoutout pa sa anak ko, name niya, Dos, no? TRC member siya about three years. Congrats, ma'am, three years na pala kayo, no, member ng Trudelich Tri- Club. And si Marlon Javier, um, Vienna, Austria, Austria. 
Yan, pa-shoutout sa'yo pala. Again, if you have any questions about deaths, a very interesting topic. Um, nakakalungkot lang kasi iba na hiya. Pag-usapan talaga yung mostly interested sila. Uh, pag tinanong mo publicly, interested sila about investments, stocks, pero deep inside, ang problema pala talaga is utang. No? Which is, ang nahiya sila. Pag personal, consultation, um, pag yung mga one-on-one na, doon sila nahiya mag-open up. That's why, yung survey na ginawa namin before, it's sa email yun. So, we cannot see them. No? We cannot, uh, kahit na hindi namin malalaman yung they can hide through their emails, no? their, yung identity nila. So, talagang lumalabas na ang problema talaga majority for Filipinos based on our 500 plus respondents is about debts. No? So, ako hindi akong magtataka kasi sa pamilya mo pa lang, kahit sa papaluming office meets mo, talaga ang daming utang. Ang masakit pa nga doon, yung iba nagtuturo ng financial literacy, no, yung mga nagbebenta ng insurance, kung sino-sino pa, is they are, sila pa yung mismo na bawag talaga sa utang. No? Kahit ako, I mean ako, I, I want to be honest sa iyo, may mga utang din naman talaga tayo. Like, uh, but for me, you, you have to, again, uh, you have to be wise, no, on the same time spending money, at the same time, if you want to loan talaga, siguro dapat, it should be a wise move for you. So, maraming factors yan. Okay? Uh, sabi ni Romy Marliari, first question natin. So, we have that started. Uh, so, mabilis naman, no, yung three strategies, no. Um, sagutin muna natin tong kay Romy Marliari. Ang tanong niya, okay lang po ba mag-loan to buy out other loans? Uh, if you think that's strategically okay, and kumbaga, kung Kumbaga, what do I mean is, mas mababa ba yung interest na babayaran mo dun sa sa, sa loan na papasok sa magbabayout mo? Kumbaga, financially, nakumpete mo ba, mas makakasafe ka? And second, it should, kumbaga, kumbaga kasi mas, minsan okay din yan pag buyout mo. Para sa nalang yung babayaran mo, it would be convenient for you. Pero check mo din what's the financial cost of doing it. Diba? Kasi baka mamaya, mas mapamahal pa yung mga... Uh, mas mahal pa yung interest, mas malaki pa yung babayaran ng mga penalties, no? So, it may, ano? Uh, so, you have to check, no? Pros and cons. Sulat mo kung ano yung mga kailangan. Okay? Okay, so, kamusta kayo, ah? Uh? Okay, so, yan. So, wait lang. Check natin yung mga nag-message. Okay, so let's continue with the representation. Again, debt is the enemy of your income. If you want to grow your wealth, minimize debt. So as much as possible for you to minimize no, your uh, amortizations or payments, thus increasing your cash flow, increasing the buffer no, in your income. No, uh, Again, if you have more income, excess cash flow, you have more uh, power, no, firepower to, to invest more, to grow or to create businesses para mas mabilis lumaki yung wealth mo. Okay? That's the, that's the general concept with it. So, what if you pay zero loans, no? Uh, all available funds, yun na. Go to investments, go to businesses. So, if, for example, if you're paying 15000 for your home amortization for 20 years, for 20 years, no? So, you're paying 15000 Again, usually, di ba, 15 to 15, 20 years yung mga home amortizations, no? So, again, 15,000. What if you have no amortizations and just invest 15,000 for 20 years in the stock market or mutual fund? So, what if lang? So, this is just, we just computed it. So, again, kung kaya mong, uh, kung mabibigyan ka ng parents pa ng bahay, no? So, mas okay din yan. No? Kung may magbibigyan sa'yo ng bahay, okay din yan. Or... Siguro, ano eh, as uh, in 15,000 na to amount na masasave mo, pwede rin kasing uh, baka sobrang laki ng bahay na bibili mo, baka pwedeng maliit mo na instead of paying 25,000, no, 10,000 na lang amount yung bayaran mo na renta. So you will save that 15,000 extra every month, no, na pwede mong i-invest sa stock market. So uh, let's say, compete natin. Yung masasave mo na yon na 15,000, Lagay natin sa stock market to sa mutual fund. How much siya? Okay, so at at fourteen percent, let's say, you know, this uh, conservative uh, figure, fourteen thousand, you will have eighteen point six million after twenty years, no? So laki, no? So instead na 
Kasi yun niya eh, ang hirap kasi, ang laki ng, baka laki naman ng bahay mo, no? Baka pwedeng makasip, ma- babaan mo yung amortizations mo. Or kung talagang yun niya, pwede, baka pwedeng uh, makakuha ka ng bahay na libre or galing sa parents mo or anything na bamana sa yon So, malaking savings talaga. And uh, 15,000 investing in the stock, invested in the stock market um, every month for 20 years at 14% compounded return, it's 18.6% million no in 20 years. So, biruin mo magkakaroon ka pa ng 18.6 million in uh, 20 years. And at, let's say, maganda yung performance sa market. Like, we have known some mutual funds that gives 20% a year in average no, for the past 20 years. Oh, so, that's 40.3 million. Diba? 40.3 million. Diba? Ang laki nun in 20 years. So, if you could save on your amortizations, no, um, Iba kasi, di ba, lumalapit. Wala po ko pang invest kasi lahat po na ubus na sa amortizations namin. Yun lagi eh. Kung, kung baga talaga, kontrabida talaga eh. Yung mga amortizations eh. Kontrabida kontra talaga yung mga payments eh. Again, ako, I have my own amortization sa bahay. So, of course, may mga benefit kasi na you cannot just resist. No? You can, kung baga, cal- per calculation, syempre, nakumpit na namin. It's gonna be beneficial for us. So, kumpitin nyo din, check nyo rin. And, uh, yun, yun lang, gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo dito na if you uh, save on amortizations, you could easily build your wealth well as, ma- as fast as possible. No? So, ganun, ganun siya. So, again, uh, how to eliminate debt? So, just going back sa topic, very quick lang din to. Uh, strategy number one, the snowball method. So, ano ba yung snowball method? No? So, you list down all your debts. So, gawin mo ngayon, gabi, if you have utang, Kung meron kang mga, uh, sige, sagutin natin mga may mga questions nyo guys ha, para dire-diretso tayo. So let's list down all the strategies to eliminate debt. So I assume, no, majority of us talaga have uh, debts, no? So, anong gagawin natin? I-list na natin, lahat ng debts natin, okay? So, except of course, for home loan amortization. Ito yung mga malalaki kasi talaga na hindi natin ma-eliminate agad, no? So, home loan amortization... Yung car, pwede pa yan eh, kasi usually 3 to 5 years lang naman yung car. Pero home loan, sige, huwag natin isama. List down all your debts, excluding no, your home loan. Okay? So, uh, the Stonewall method tells, that, uh, tells us that uh, we must arrange them according to the smallest and outstanding, smallest to largest outstanding balance. So, let's say for your debt, one, you have, uh, let's say, 20,000, debt two, 30,000, no, debt 3, 40,000. So, unahin mo muna yung debt 1. No? So, lista mo siya according to loan balance, smallest being the number 1 no, on your list. So, again, never mind the interest rate. No, uh, Make minimum payments to all state, to, to all, uh, kung baga lahat yun, may mga minimum payments yan. So, gawin mo, bayaran mo lahat, of course, you need to pay them to pay the minimum to avoid penalties and interest. No, So, pag nabayaran mo yung mga minimum nun, uh, ang gagawin mo naman is you create that extra uh, payments, no? How? Again, increase your income, side hustle, side income, or magtipid ka muna. Create that excess buffer, no? And pay off the smallest debt. So, yung, kung sino yung pinaka-number one mo sa list na pinaka na balance, yung muna yung unahin mo. Again, you're paying all the minimum. Kasi, again, ayaw natin magka-penalty. Bayaran nyo muna yung minimum. Plus, you will add more payment, no? Kumaga magdadagdag ka na pambayad dun sa smallest debt mo. No? So, ang concept kasi nito is we try to add more, increase our income para mabayaran ag- as much as possible yung mga debts natin. Ang uunahin natin for snowball, ang sinasabi ni snowball, which is the strategy number one, um, babayaran natin yung pinakamalik na balance. Eh. So, ano ba yung yeah, once the smallest debt is paid off, no so kunyari naubos na natin kasi sobra yung binabayad natin kay debt number 1 which is the smallest uh, outstanding balance. Ngayon pag natapos natin yun kung magkano yung binabayad natin doon let's say ang kay debt number 1 di ba yung ating binabayaran natin to 1000 tas nag extra pa tayo ng 1000 that's 2000 di ba. So pag nabayaran niyo of course meron ka ng buffer again meron ka ng excess na 2000 kasi bayad na yung loan number 1 di ba. So babayaran na natin yung loan number 2 siya na yung smallest, susunod na smallest outstanding balance doon. 
So, ano na, yun, the concept of snowball, habang lum- lumalaki siya, habang bumababa, lumalaki yung payments mo, yung excess mo, nababayaran mo na nababayaran yung mga loans mo. So, that's the snowball method. Okay? Yan. Yan, so, sige, ano natin. Share ko sa inyo yung slides, no? Meron pala tayong slides dito. Okay. Yan. So, kita nyo ba? Kita nyo ba yung slides? Yan. Yan. This is the slide. So, yan. So, this is example of snowball. So, let's say you have, again, you list down your loans according to balances. No? So, 1,000, 5,000, 7,000, 15,000, 20,000. Then, minimum monthly payments, no? 100, 200, 300. So, kay, again, kailangan natin bayaran yung minimum monthly payment para maiwas tayo sa penalties and interest. And then, that's the additional. Yan na yung, kumbaga, ito na yung ano eh, this is your effort na talaga to, to pay off your debts. So, what, 500, 500 pesos, no? So, total payment mo na for loan number one is 600. So on and so forth, di ba? So, yan. Check natin. Wait lang. So, yan. So, for example, no? So, 600 na yan. So, it's two months time. Tapos na to eh, di ba? So, 600 na. So, tanggal na si loan number one. So, itong si 5,000 na ulit. So, minimum pay mo dyan 2,000. Eh, meron ka na excess na 600 dito. So, magiging 600 na to. Okay? So, magiging payment natin to, not anymore 200, 800 na siya. Okay? So, ganun yung concept ng snowball. So, lumalaki na lumalaki. Again, pag na-eliminate mo na si loan number 2, kasi nga, sobra yung binabayad mo, mas ma-eliminate mo siya uh, as soon as possible. No? So, 7,000, yung 300 minimum mo, uh, yung 800, mapupunta na siya dito. 800. Okay? 800. Sorry, ha. I'm just using mouse. So, 800 plus 300. So, plus pala to. So, magiging 1-1 na to. Okay? 1-1 na yung payments mo. Okay? So, that's the concept of snowball. Until ma-eliminate lahat no, ng mga loans mo. Ngayon, pag na-eliminate mo yung loans mo, anong gagawin mo? So, then, pwede na tayo. Invest na tayo or let's open a businesses kasi may extra buffer na tayo. Saray na tayo na talagang may binabayaran. No? So, ngayon, pag na-eliminate mo na, that's a good thing. So, saan mo siya ilalagay? Of course, stock market, businesses, and other uh, uh, assets na could help you generate more income or wealth. Okay? So, maybe you need sell to our... So, inga, sa sa nakukuha na may stress cash, sell, garage sale, make room for extra payments, no? So, lista mo yung mga items pa hindi mo ginagamit. Marami dyan sa cabinet and everything. Lalo na ngayon, meron ng Facebook marketplace, di ba? Ako, pag may gusto ko yung benta, ipopost ko lang dyan sa marketplace. Di ba? Yung treadmill ko, na benta ko na. <laughs> yung mga other items ko na na, ano, na hindi ko ginagamit, no? So, benta mo lang kasi sayang eh. Sayang extra cash. Tapos, syempre, yung mga side hustles, uh, daming pwede yung income na pwede mong gawin, no? Uh, clothes, gadgets, appliances, you're not using. Baka pwede mo ibenta yung mga yan. Okay? So, that's strategy number one. So, ano ba yung number two? So, again, the avalanche method. So, again, guys, if you have any questions, just comment down below para masagot natin yung isa-isa mamaya. Okay? So, yan. So, avalanche method. So, that's strategy number two. Okay? Check muna natin yung mga nandito. And check natin. Let's see the baby one is in. Okay, wait lang. Yeah, so strategy number two, avalanche method. So basically, ang pinagkaiba lang nila ni Snowball is you arrange your debt according to the highest interest, no? So, to the lowest interest rate. So, ito naman, instead of you prioritizing, yung snowball kasi, we prioritize smallest balance. Eh. No? Ito naman, smallest, ah, ano naman to? The highest interest. We arrange them according to the highest interest loan, regardless of the loan balance. So, basically, uh, pareho lang sila halos, same concept. No? We pay extra dun sa number one list mo, na lo- number one loan mo sa list mo. 
And of course, paying that extra. Kasi nga, ang concept naman nito, mas gusto mo yung mabayaran yung, malaki yung interest. Kasi nga, it, it, it costs you, it causes you more money. No? Ang, yung ano naman, yung uh, snowball naman, ang concept naman nun is, regardless of the interest, mas gusto mo kasi yung tinatawag na motivation, no, na, kumbaga, small wins ba? Kumbaga, namomotivate ka kasi na-eliminate mo yung debt mo eh. No, so, mabibuild mo yun. Small wins, small wins, small wins. Hanggang masanay ka na na talagang may limonate na lahat. So, ito naman avalanche. Uh, more on financial reason siya. Yung iba kasi ito, ganito yung ginagawa. So, again, wala namang mali at tama. It's either use strategy one, no, which is snowball or the avalanche method. Wala pong mali doon. Wala pong depende po sa inyo. Ang importante kasi meron kong ginagawa to eliminate your debt. No? So, ganun po ka important yun. So, commit to pay the minimum payment on every debt. Again, minimum payments. Again, third one, pay extra towards the debt with the highest interest rate. So, again, for snowball, lowest uh, balance, yun ang uunahin mo, ito naman, the highest interest rate. So, that, that's the avalanche method. Okay? So, basically, same, same lang siya, but again, for avalanche, we use the highest uh, interest. Unahin natin yung highest interest muna na loan, no? We pay extra and then pag natapos mo yung loan number one, move on again to the loan, no loan number two and so on and so forth hanggang may eliminate mo lahat. Okay? So, strategy number three, consolidate all your debts, no? Into one single liability, yun yung tinatabi kanina ni, ni Sir Yata, no? And negotiate with your bank or credit card company for lower interest or installment option. So, talagang uh, ito, kakausapin mo talaga pag sobrang dami mo na ng that's talaga. Umuntaguan, no? Umuntaguan yung ano mo. Kasi ang na, na ka, ano kasi dito is, um, ang weird lang kasi eh, yung nagpautang pa minsan yung naghahabol, di ba? So, tapos pag singil mo, galit pa yung umutang sa'yo. So, yung ano weird eh. Ako, may utang ako. I usually, ano, follow up on my, kanya rin, nagkautang ako sa, sa friend ko, nagka-follow up ako sa kanya na bro, ganito ko babayaran yan. Kasi ano eh, uh, niya, I have known people na uh, sumasang nagkakasama ng law because of this, no? because of debts. No? Kaya minsan, may rule nga kami na pag nagpautang ka minsan uh, sa kaibigan mo, siguro yung threshold lang na you don't expect anything in return na. So may mga ganong rules kasi, di ba? Kasi nga usually, uh, pag nagpautang ka, magkakasama ka ng law eh, kasi nakakalimutan ng kaibigan mo, di ba? Tapos may yaka pa, maningil. Tapos pag sinigil mo, galit pa sa'yo, di ba? So, ganun din. Na, ano, so, if you have valid uh, loans, madali namang kausap yung mga banko, talk to them, how you consolidate them, uh, ask for lower interest and favorable uh, installment plans, no? So, kung paano mo sila babayaran. So, again, mas mabuti yon na <laughs> huwag mong takbuhan, kausapin mo sila. Okay? So, of course, uh, here's some... Uh, Bonus tips, stop the bleeding, no? So, ano ba yung cost ba't ka nagka-utang in the first place? Baka mamaya kahit ang dami mong installment plans, dami mong debt management plan ka, kinuusap mo yung mga creditors mo. Pero, ganun, ano pa rin yung, ano mo? Ganun pa rin yung cost, no? Bakit ka nagka-utang at the first place? You have to stop the bleeding. You have to identify ano ba yung mga factors na bakit ako na, na ano sa utang, na nabaon sa utang, di ba? So, yun yung mga kailangan mong tignan, di ba? So, yan. So, stop the bleeding, stop borrowing, of course, again, <laughs> dalawa na, stop the cost, and of course, stop borrowing, no? So, para talagang matigil yung cycle, no? Baka mga paulit-ulit lang yan, eh, di ba? Or else, you're just fooling yourself. No? So, uh, so, so, kung credit card dyan, card your credit card, um, have a budget, no? Uh, use, use your budgeting plan, no? Kung, kung talagang uh, ito lang yung kaya mong gasto, yun lang kasi mo. Marut, matuto kang mamuluktot, no? Huwag kang wala ang karapatan mag, uh, mag-Starbucks, no? Kung, kung talagang yun lang yung, ganun lang yung sweldo mo, wala ang karapatan mag-iPhone, yun lang sweldo mo, di ba? So, that's the reality of life, eh. I mean, okay lang mag-iPhone, okay lang mag- uh, Starbucks or ibang malu, okay lang yun. Basta you have the means, no? And not borrowing. No? So, if you want more, 
no, if you want to buy more, hindi, ano ka, hassle hard. No, work more. Um, again, maraming pagkakataon, maraming opportunities out there. You just have to wait and be patient. Okay? So, again, live below your means. Check your lifestyle, no? Um, yun nga, may tinatag tayong lifestyle inflation. Pag tumakas yung sweldo, tumataas yung expenses. Minsan nga, mas pataas pa yung, mas mabilis pa yung pagtaas ng lifestyle expenses kaysa sa income. So, at the end, kahit tumakas yung income mo, bohong ka pa rin sa utang. Okay? So, these are the bonus tips, no? Uh, uh, if you're home loan, uh, ito pa, ho? Home loan amortization is 50% of your gross income. So, prioritize first your home loans. Kasi nga, we have this rule sa personal finance, no? Na, kung baga, this is a general rule lang naman, not hard rule, na dapat yung home amortization mo should fall below 35% of your gross income. Okay? So, dapat hindi na masyadong aangat doon sa 35% na yun. So, don't borrow money to invest in stock market or mutual funds. It's too risky. No? So, we teach here to Lich Club, we teach people na mag-invest sa stock market, sa mutual funds, but as much as possible, huwag mo i-utang. Kasi nga, could, what if umutang ka, nagbabayad ka ng interest, tapos biglang bumaksak yung market, katulad niyo yun. So, it's a double-edged sword. Uh, it could really harm you, di ba? So, yung excess lang, excess lang talaga, yung cash flow mo lang na dire-dire, so yun lang yung advice namin to, to invest in stock market or mutual funds. No? So, talk to your credit cor- creditors. Again, huwag mo silang takbuhan, especially sa mga kaibigan mo. Huwag mo i-burn yung bridge because sa utang. You know, so, kausapin mo sila. I think if you're really friends naman, maintindihan ka nila. Diba? Mas maganda yun eh. Kakausapin nga, magiging honest ka. Senior situation na running away from them and hindi na kayo mag-uusap. Okay? Uh, so, maraming creditors use prorata. I-prorated mo lang yung mga... <laughs> kailangan mong bayaran, yung kaya mong bayaran. Again, talk to your creditors about your plan. As much as possible, kung kaya mong isulat kung ano yung paano mong babayaran, ano yung strategies mo para bayaran sila. Mas, mas ano yun, mas uh, authentic siya na talagang concern ka to settle off, eh, settle your uh, debts. Okay? Uh, make it formal. Write a signed letter or promissory note, which is kahit na clean, kahit na ano lang siya, uh, Basta formal lang, para at least ano. Okay? So, from over 22-7, the borrower is a slave of the lender. Okay? So, do you have any questions, guys? So, sabi ni May, how to how to know what stocks to buy. Uh, so, through the Rich Club, no, if you're a member, we teach people or we guide people. We tell them what are our recommended stocks, no? Para hindi na kayo mag-iisip kung anong stocks yung bibili nyo. No, so, we have a share sum table strategic uh, averaging method na stocks na nire-recommend, mutual funds and stocks, specific stocks, no, na nire-recommend namin yan. Sinasabi ni Brother Bro about stocks to buy. Okay, so, if you want to join to lilichclub.com, uh, check nyo lang din, no. Um, how can we put or save money in the stock market? So, we have, there are many ways, no, you get uh, go uh, directly or indirectly. So, go directly is buying stocks directly na mga Jollibee, Ayala, SM, you buy the stock, so, so that's going directly, so through the stock exchange, no, and of course you need a broker, so we have CUL Financial, no, for we are uh, the largest online stock broker in the Philippines, so Shasilin partner namin sa True Rich Club, and of course for mutual funds, uh, indirectly naman, you can go indirectly, so uh, of course we have Rumber then to facilitate yung mga, um, yung mga indirect uh, investments through mutual funds. Okay, so ayan. Advantage ng VUL sa buy term invest the difference. Uh, convenience lang. Siguro yun lang yung advantage na nakikita ko for VUL but if you have uh, time uh, just buy them or do them uh, separately for you to save on cost. Okay. Okay. Okay, so wala namang question. So, wala tayong questions. So, ang bilis ng episode natin, no? So, thank you guys for being with me. Uh, I hope may natutunan kayo uh, for tonight's episode. So, if you have any questions, just message our Facebook page na to the Rich Club and we invite you to join or uh, if you want to nourish more 
your uh, knowledge about finances, no, about investing in the stock market, mutual funds, financial planning. So check our website, tulirichclub.com. So, ayan. Especially, masasagot na yan yung mga pagbili or paano anong bibiling stocks, anong mga stocks bibilin. No? So again, thank you guys for being with us through the Rich TV. Please do like, share, subscribe this video. No, uh, comment down below. Uh, ano yung mga natutunan mo? Um, if you have any more questions, comment lang guys yung sasagutin namin or message us again sa page namin. And we invite you again to join True the Rich Club para mas marami pang uh, content, marami pang paungulit na gagawin namin. You know, Brother Bo, para mga, talaga mag-invest ka, para talagang control mo yung financial life mo. Okay? Ah... Uh, Sir Loren, sabi ni Ms. Belinda, ano po ba ang advantage ng VOL? Yun lang po, nakikita ko, advantage niya is more on uh, convenience. So, convenience to pay kasi silang babayara mo, meron ka ng investment at insurance. No? So, I think that's, for me, that's ano lang, in my opinion. But if you can do it separately, mas maganda. By term, invest the difference. Okay? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you next week through the Rich TV. Bye-bye.